Hi, welcome back to Paragon Ridge Ranch. I'm Christy and today we're going to be making a compost bin out of pallets. All the feed from the feed store that we gotta unload and then the pumpkins. Move over girls, everybody move over. Daddy's coming in. It's okay. Move over, Daddy's coming in. The things that we do for our animals Today we have a kind of long list of chores, but they shouldn't take very long to do. We have gone to the feed store, so we need to empty the back of the truck of all our protein and corn, which we use big bee feeds. We absolutely love them. They are the best. We get them locally. And, and then I also got some pumpkins. What are you doing? I'm trying to talk. You're a liquor. You're a liquor. Yeah. Why are you so sweet? I told you she licks me all the time. Can you stop now? Okay. Um, where was I? Okay, so we went to the feed store and we got the feed. And then um, I have a local pumpkin patch that they take all their pumpkins that are starting to get soft mildew spoil maybe have a cut in them maybe the top isn't you know still on there which people won't buy it if they look like that so they have been holding pumpkins for me and putting them um, putting them out so every time i drive by there i go and get some pumpkins and i give them to my goats and to my chickens they absolutely love it jeremy's out right now and he is going to start up the bobcat and he's going to go outside and he's going to start using the bobcat attachment it's a veil x series it acts like a forestry mulcher and a brush hog it can get pretty good i think about four inch um, saplings or trees uh, pretty handy so he's going to clear the back paddock for the goats before the winter time hopefully it'll cut down all those new saplings coming up from the roots of the brush oak and kind of knock them down. Hopefully it'll callous them or scar them. Maybe it'll be a really cold winter, I don't know. But I need them to stay gone because I need to grow wheat, rye, all kinds of stuff out there. That's why it's a paddock uh, for the goats. So they have grass to, to feed on and to graze on. That's why we took down all the trees. So he's getting out there, he's starting that up. He's gonna go do that. I'm gonna work on compost. Gotta go take care of some chickens first, check on the goats and we'll get to it. It is warm out. Jeremy's getting ready to go out on the bobcat, like I said. Here's all the stuff that we just got. Our big beef foods, best stuff, we love it. This is all the feed from the feed store that we gotta unload, and then the pumpkins. Got all those pumpkins. What is wrong with your face? Bonnie, where were you? Were you in the clay? Were you digging in the clay? What were you doing? Had to go and let him into the goat paddock so he could start doing that brush hogging. And I could start with unloading the truck and then seeding the buck pen. And of course, all the goats are out here waiting for me, like always, because they're so cute and whiskey whiskey. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Boys. Oh, hi. Good morning. Check on our brooding chickens. Well, hi, girls. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hi, everybody. It's getting warm out, huh? Well, hi, girls. Good morning. Pecky, there you are, Pecky. Hi, Pecky. Good girl. You had a good day? Yeah. You guys finally get out of the barn. Huh? Oh, you're gonna clean up my mess? Everybody move over. Daddy's coming in. Move over. Daddy's coming in. It's okay if one goes out. Move, girls. Move, girls.
finger face. Sorsha. Gibby. Maddie. Oh, yeah. I'm not kissing you today. No, no. The things that we do for our animals. They love pumpkins so much. I love giving it to them. And you can't beat free. Free is wonderful. don't mind if I do. I am such a seed saver. So this pumpkin was ready to go to the goats. However, it was really fat and round. It had a perfect stem. So I'm going to seed save these seeds. I'm going to dry them out. Well, I'm going to clean them off first. Then I'm going to dry them out. And then I will have them for next summer and hopefully get some really big pumpkins. heavy. Who wants it first? Better watch your head. Here you go. It's just on my hands, honey. Look. Yeah, it's just on my hands. It's just the smell. Why don't you go eat? Miracle, go eat. Ooh, no. Go eat, baby. Nope. 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 Not for you. Girls! Come on, girls! Come on! Go to your poop! Girls! Girls! Come on, I'm gonna throw it over because I can't get away with anything with Huey. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Uh-oh. Now I can go in without Huey. I'm sorry. It's gonna be dirty. There you go. There you go! Here's a spot. This is my compost spot right here. I started by trying to screw some of these pallets to each of these legs on the side of my raised bed and it didn't last long. They just fell right over. So I got a third pallet. I'm going to put it in the back. I'm going to secure them all with three or four inch screws and then we're going to start filling it up. We're going to use goat manure. We're going to use spent hay and we are going to use any of my vegetables or flowers from this overgrown raised bed garden to fill it. Three pallets. I've got my gun, I've got my nails, and then I've got some rakes to rake in the debris that I've already thrown over the fence whenever we're through before we start filling it up with the organic matter. tighten it up a little bit and then we're going to start adding our organic matter. I'm all done tightening it up. Now we're going to start adding nitrogen and carbon. Oh my goodness. I don't even know where to start. This is my overgrown garden. I did come in here with a weed whacker a few weeks ago. It's the kind that has the metal blades on it that cuts down all the stuff like all the soy that was here and some sunflowers. So that's already kind of disintegrating. I have lots of cucumbers and some more soy right there. Lots of weeds and grass in the pathways. I am gonna come in here and burn all this once the burn ban is over and once it rains some. So let's start getting some of the grass and the debris and we'll just make that our first layer in our compost pile. Compost bins have to have a good amount, almost equal amounts of carbon, which is brown. I always think carbon, like a cardboard box, brown. And then nitrogen, which is anything green. 
one thing that we're going to be putting in here, like I said earlier, is goat manure. And goat manure has a lot more nitrogen in it than cow and horse manure. It's a cold manure, so it won't burn any of your crops. It will disintegrate in the compost pile. My first big bucket full of things to compost. And there's thousands of more things to do. So let's just get started with this for now. Now time for goat manure. Okay, this is where the goats sleep. It is a mess, tons of goat poop. The good thing is that it's dry and it doesn't smell. Can you guys not help me today? Reiki. So do you see all these little particles? That is broken down hay. The poops break down as well. And then you can see their hair. You can definitely compost hairs. See that right there? That is a feather. Feathers can be composted too. I've gathered about three quarters of a bucket. Ah, and there's holes at the bottom. It's all falling out. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh my God. I didn't realize that. Now the dust poop is in my eye. Goat manure, it's been hay. This is just start of a compost pile. Now my chickens can come out here and they can scratch in it. Hopefully some worms come up from the bottom and start helping with the compost process. Every few days, I'm gonna come out here and check it and about once a week or so, I'm gonna use a pitchfork and I'm gonna turn it over. I'm also gonna measure the temperature as the time goes on, make sure that it gets enough water. I'm gonna water it with the hose. These are some of the elements that help the compost break down faster. Now, I'm not in a hurry. I don't need this until next year and I've got two other compost bins in the goat pen. So this is just gonna be my garden compost bin close to the garden. I'm going to be able to take all my stuff after cleaning it out for the fall, throw it in here, and then hopefully have beautiful black gold come springtime that I can use to do my indoor seed starting and also add and amend my existing raised bed. And of course the goats are going to get in it. So I might think about putting up a half pallet in the front so they can't actually get in and drag out things. Now some things that you could add to it, you could put your kitchen scraps. I don't put any meat, anything oily, anything that is harmful to the environment. I stick with all plant-based things, and that would include eggshells. You could put tea bags because the tea bag itself actually disintegrates and breaks down. Coffee grounds, banana peels. When your kids have watermelon, throw the rinds in there. When your pumpkin rots, throw it in there. I'm going to be doing that if my animals don't eat it. Otherwise, I share that in my vermicompost, which is a totally different playlist and different videos, but that's another way to make beautiful soil. Some other things you could put in there would be cardboard, shredded paper, shredded newspaper. As far as your green material, you can use rabbit, goat, cow, horse manure. Now, cow and horse does need to age for six plus months because it's considered hot. I also am gonna be putting in my chicken poop matter. So when I clean that out next week, everything from the chicken poop is gonna go in here. That's hot manure as well. That needs to sit for six plus months to get fully composted before you put it in your garden. Green matter, you can put in green leaves, grass clippings. Some people put, grow comfrey and they put comfrey in there. I advise that you talk to Mr. Google and get a list of good things and bad things for your compost. It's a quick little video on how to make a very simple compost bin for free. The pallets are free. You can get them in most places. You can go around the back of Lowe's, ask them if you have any pallets to get rid of. You can go to small businesses, manufacturing companies, or even retail stores like Tractor Supply will have them. And you just go inside and ask politely if you can have two or three or four or whatever they have. And they generally will just give them to you. Hope it was easy to understand. Hope I explained it well. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit the little dingle bell so you're alerted every single time that we put up a new video. Otherwise, thank you. Have a great day. Bye.